Hello cheeky starlets, it's your girl Star here, full of beans, full of energy and back with another tutorial. So in this video I'm actually going to be showing you how to prepare your game and prevent your game from breaking or a save file from being corrupted, especially if you use mods or CC. Mods or CC can actually uh, break your game before you update it, so make sure you follow this tutorial and follow these steps so this doesn't happen. Let's break down what I'll be showing you today. Number one, auto updates feature. Number two, protecting your mods and CC folder. Number three, backing up your games and saves. Number four, updating your mods. Number five, testing your game with mods. Make sure you watch right to the end as tip number five is very important. If you don't follow the steps, you could end up with a corrupt save file, which you can't open later. Even if you don't use mods or CC, I still recommend using step 1 and 3. If you want to start using mods and CC, I also have a tutorial on how to download them. Links in the description below with some other tutorials that you might find useful. And remember to get that exercise in and use your click finger to hit that like button. It uses up like 0.0000001 calories. And it's free. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Make sure you watch the whole video right through to the end to help you update your game safely. And also, if you do so, YouTube will love you and it will start recommending my video to others. Number one, auto updates feature. The thing that you need to do is actually turn auto updates off. Uh, to do this, go into Origin and click Application Settings and then scroll down and click here and make sure these are all greyed out. It's important to have auto updates off because then the game will just automatically update without you knowing and you might not have prepared your mods folder or CC uh, folder for the patch. Number two, protecting your mods and CC folder. Now to actually protect our mods. What we need to do is locate our mods folder. You can do this by going to your documents and um, clicking on electronic art and then the Sims 4 and you will see mods here. Depending on how you've actually arranged your mods and your mods folder, you need to take out all of your mods um, and script mods. I would leave the CC in. They don't tend to really corrupt games. I mean, they can make your game a little bit buggy, but they don't tend to corrupt your game so much or break them. So I've kind of um, organized my folders by dates and I have um, labeled some of the mods. I'm going to show you an example. What we need to do is with this singing animation, this is a mod as well. So we want to cut every single mod that we've got. Um, I wouldn't worry too much about the CCs. CCs don't tend to break your game. I'm going to show you an example here. I've got the singing animation. I'm going to cut this and then I have got my own kind of folder here. I will show you here called um, Remove Mods for Updates and I'm going to paste this in here. So what you need to do is do the same thing for every single mod or script mod that you've got in your mods folder and paste them in here. Now to actually uh, back up your Sims 4 game and Sims 4 sales file just in case your game breaks or something gets corrupted and you need to revert to a previous saved version. This is really simple. What we're going to do is we are going to copy. I have already got a file called a sims 4 backup on my desktop which you should create as well and i have backed up everything and i'm going to paste it in here it basically takes a couple of seconds and it's backing up all your sims game files all your mods as well um just everything if your game ever breaks and just continue doing this um, every few months number four updating your mods just to recap, if you followed my steps successfully, you would have cut all the mods from your Sims 4 mods folder, moved them out and pasted them into another folder on your desktop. Okay, this is where there's a bit of a waiting game. Now what you have to do is go through all your mods and wait for the mod creators to update them on their website. Um, for instance, the bigger mod creators like Hawaii Stacy or Satin Official tend to do this quite quickly. 
Okay, I'll show you an example how of how to update a Sims 4 mod. For example, if you've downloaded Kawaii Stacy's Slice of Life mod and you've gone on her website uh, and or she's told you on her socials that she's updated the mod to comply with the new update, go to the website, find the Kawaii Stacy mod and scroll down and then download the latest version. The latest version should actually show you the date of the patch and the date of the update and then go ahead and download that and then install it back again like you would um, a usual mod. If you do need help in knowing how to install mods, I've actually done a tutorial on that and I've got the links in the description below. Okay, so you've updated all your mods and now is the time to go back into your Sims game and test them out. Uh, if you should have auto updates turned off, so when you launch the game, it should start up loading, downloading, should I say, the uh, update. And when that's finished and you actually click into the Sims 4 game, it will come up with a message saying that mods and script mods have been disabled because there has been a new patch and we have to now re-enable the um, mods and CC and I'll show you how to do that. You want to click on the options in the top right hand corner, go to game options and then other and you just uh, check enable custom um, mods and then it'll say the game needs to be restarted for this change to take effect so uh, make sure you restart the game and then script mods allowed that should be also should be ticked so apply the changes and then restart your game and then go back into it and let's start playing with the game That's the end of the tutorial. If you do have any questions, then put them down in the comments below and I'll try to be as helpful as possible. Thank you so much, so, so much for watching. Remember to be bold, be confident, be the best you that you can be and keep shining and I'll see you for the next video. Bye.